Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Raven. This is the first video I'm posting and I decided to do a very easy, very minimal everyday look. This is normally the look that I do when I'm going to work. It's pretty simple and it requires very little product and I feel like everyone can do this. It's not really time consuming. It takes me about 10-15 minutes and I'm out the door. So if you want to see this look, please keep watching. Alright, I'm going to start off by prepping my lips. I'm just going to be using some Chanel Hydrating Lip Balm. I'm going to spray my face with a little bit of MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is lavender. I like using Prep and Prime when it's my everyday look because it's really lightweight. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows next and I'm going to use my Sonia's Eyebrow Bar Pencil. This is in medium brown. Spoolie that through. So for foundation, I'm actually going to be using Face and Body by MAC. This is the color C3. You're going to want to make sure that you shake it really well. I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand and use my Beauty Blender to apply it. Just pounce this around. This foundation is really lightweight and it's water-based, so it's really buildable. want to make sure you blend it into your hairline. Just really just bend down your neck. Ooh, this little pelito. Oh hair. Make sure you get it nice and good into your hairline. You don't have to necessarily use this foundation. It's a really light coverage. You're more than welcome to use anything that you like. Some girls like more full coverage. Some girls like a little bit more natural. I've never been a full coverage kind of girl. You know, unless I have a shoot or I'm going to an event or something, then I'll really kick it on. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Natural. Just going to apply this underneath my eyes. down the strip of my nose and on my forehead. I don't like to highlight on my forehead too much only because I have a little bit of a big forehead. I'm gonna spray my Beauty Blender with some Fix Plus. I like doing my nose last so that it dries a little bit. Whatever's left on the beauty blender, I just like to put it on my eyelids. I don't like to put too much concealer. I just like to just give it a light cover. I'm just going to add a little bit of Max Prep and Prime, the color Light Boost, just to give me some highlight. I'm going to go ahead and set everything with a little bit of Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is just an e.l.f. brush. The name rubbed off, so I'll go ahead and link that in the description box below for you. I make sure I get my smile lines because they tend to crease during the day. And the sides of my nose tend to get a little bit oily. I'm going to start contouring. I'm going to use my MAC 137 brush and the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow Palette. And I'm just going to be using the bronzer and I'm going to just add some color back to my cheekbones. Sorry if you hear some noise in the background. I live in the hood. You want to make sure you get under your chin. <laughs> down your neck. I really like to layer my bronzer, so I'm going to be putting NARS Laguna over this. 
I'm going to take my MAC 187 brush and I'm just going to blend this in a little bit. Moving on to eyes, I don't like to do much during my everyday work week or while I'm running errands. So I'm just going to layer my bronzers. I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer that I took out of the Bronzing Glow palette. And I'm just going to put this on a fluffy brush and just work this into my crease. I'm going to run a little bit underneath. This just brings back a little bit of dimension into your eye. I forgot to contour my nose. It's fine, I'll do that in a little bit. I'm going to take Laguna on the same brush. I'm going to put that right over. I'm going to take a Luxie 207 brush. I'm going to put it into the Charlotte Tilbury palette one more time. I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit. I'm going to take a Luxie 110 brush and I'm just going to buff that line in a little bit. So I'm just going to highlight now and I like to keep it really minimal so I'm just going to use the same highlight in that same palette, this highlight shade right here. I'm just going to put that on my cheekbones. I like to put my highlight before I put my blush because I feel like they blend a little bit more seamlessly. And I'm just going to hit all the high points, the regular spots, my forehead, my chin. I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm just going to go down the bridge of my nose. Over my eyebrows and the arch. Of course, highlight my inner tear duct. I really love this Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow palette. I feel like it's really natural and versatile. You can really layer these and make these look really nice. They look nice alone as it is. I just like them together too. For blush, I'm just going to be using MAC Smoba on a MAC 129 brush. I'm going to just apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Kind of a little bit more of a seamless look. So before I put on mascara, I just like to fuse this all in with a little bit of Fix Plus. For mascara, I'm actually going to be using the Velvet Noir Major Brownie Mascara. This is such a hard name to pronounce. It's by Marc Jacobs. <laughs> I like trip up saying this name all the time. Well, this is, an, this is actually a little travel size that I got in my Sephora Play. I canceled all my little subscription services. They just weren't working out for me. Sorry about the sirens in the background. I live in the hood. So for lips, I change this up every single day. I don't always use the same exact lip colors. But today I'm going to be using Charlotte Tilbury's Iconic Nude Lip Liner. And I'm going to be using Max Creme de Nude Lipstick. This has to be one of my favorite lip liners. I'm just going to rub this in. So this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. Going forward, I'm going to post it about one to two videos a week on different things like lifestyle, beauty, fashion, travel. So if you're interested in any of those things and want to see my videos, like and subscribe.